Hello, my name's Chris and I'm here from A Training and what we're going to be discussing today are the 2015 Resuscitation Council guidelines. Now in the time that we have together we can't possibly go through every single part of those guidelines but what I would like to do is just make you aware of the pertinent changes from the 2010 protocols. Firstly, lay first aiders are not to use a finger sweep to clear a casualty's airway. And in common with the 2010 protocols, the jaw thrust technique is not to be used by lay first aiders either. Whilst carrying out basic life support, if there is a second person there who can assist us, it's recommended that we swap over approximately every two minutes. And whilst carrying out this basic life support, we keep interruptions where our hands are away from our casualties chest to a maximum of 10 seconds. For paediatric basic life support, in common now with the adult protocol, it's recommended that each rescue breath should take approximately one second. And the advice about compressing a child or an infant's chest to at least one third of their chest depth remains the same. But the Resuscitation Council have given greater guidance on it. And they would suggest that an infant's chest should be compressed to approximately four centimetres, whereas a child's chest should be compressed to approximately five centimetres. This hopefully gives more guidance to our first aiders and gives them more confidence that they're not actually going to cause any further harm to this child or infant. If you do have any questions about the recent changes to the Resuscitation Council guidelines, then please feel free to contact us at A Training.